Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my BoxyCharm unboxing for December 2018. The box is shaped a little bit differently this month, so I'm kind of curious what's inside. I haven't seen any spoilers. Sometimes I see them, sometimes I don't. I really haven't seen any this month, so we'll find out what's inside together. If you guys aren't familiar, if you guys aren't familiar, BoxyCharm's a $21 a month beauty subscription service. So basically you sign up and you get a monthly box with four to five full-size products. They include makeup, skincare, usually there's a palette, sometimes brushes, but let's jump into it and see what's in the December box. And if you want to check it out yourself, I'll link their website in the description box below. So the first thing in here is from Tarte. It is the Tardis Shimmering Lip Paint. I did not know they actually did a shimmery version or what I assume is going to be a metallic version. I'm not the biggest fan of the lip paints. I just find them to be a little bit too... Ooh. <laughs> I take back what I just said because this is not what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a liquid lipstick, but it looks like it's just a really pretty sheer gloss. It looks like it's going to be beautiful on top of anything. Let me actually try this on. A lot of you guys are asking me to do try-on unboxings. I don't typically do that because I've done unboxings for years that I've never tried anything on, but if you guys want to see that in 2019, maybe I can switch it up and try it out. I usually do just regular unboxings because I feel like they're a lot faster, but if you want to see try-on unboxings, let me know. So I'm just going to put this on over my nude lipstick. I'm just wearing like a combination of nude lipsticks right now. Okay, so that's what it looks like over a nude lipstick. I think it looks really pretty. It's very subtle. It's not anything too intense, but I do think this color looks pretty over a nude, but I also think it would look really pretty over like a dark dramatic color because there is a lot of pretty shimmer in here. I don't know if I would wear it on its own because it is so subtle, but I didn't even know they made glossy lip paints, but I definitely like this formula better than the matte lip paint that I tried in the past. So I'm looking forward to wearing this even more. The next thing in here is by the brand Cosmetics. It is the Detox Activated Charcoal Mask. I hear the charcoal masks and charcoal skincare products are really good for oily skin, but I don't know that I've really tried a lot of them. So this one is supposed to be applied onto damp, clean skin, and then you leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes and then wash it off. I'm actually going to cheat and look at the card because there's not a ton of info on this actual product. So it says that it's supposed to detox your pores and improve the brightness of your skin while drawing out dirt and impurities. So again, I know that charcoal is really big, especially when it comes to skin skincare products right now, so I'll definitely give it a shot. I've been switching up my skincare a lot lately, just trying out new products, so this is one that I'll definitely try. There is a palette in here by the brand Wander Beauty. It is the Wanderisk Dust to Dawn Blush and Highlight Palette, and the packaging is really beautiful, so let me open this up. Okay, so when you open it up, it does come with three different products. It looks like you get two blushes and one gold highlight. The pans are an interesting shape. I feel like they make sense for highlighters, but I think they'll be a little bit more difficult to use with a blush brush obviously you can make it work it just it's kind of interesting to me usually they're more of like a square shape let me swatch these because I've never tried any of their face products so the lightest blush is pretty I don't know if it's going to work for all skin tones it's pretty light but I think it would work well for you if you have a fair to light skin tone and then the middle blush looks like you could build it up to be really intense or sheer it out and the gold highlight probably would work for most skin tones as well but the formula seems blendable and soft I think I'll actually try on one of the blushes because why not? I'm just going to take this Wet n Wild blush brush and just use it in the lightest blush. Okay, it's pretty powdery. I do have blush on right now, so obviously that's going to make a difference, but I just want to see how this applies. Seems to be going on pretty well. It's pretty because it's subtle, and I mean, I do have blush on right now, but you can tell there's a difference between this cheek and this cheek. It blends really nicely and it's very, very subtle, but like I said, you can probably build up the center shade. I did use the lighter shade. It is very blendable, so I'm looking forward to using that. Let me try on the highlighter. Again, I'm just taking the Wet n Wild highlight brush. So it's a little bit lighter than I thought. When I first swatched it, I thought it might be a little bit too dark for my skin tone, but it looks pretty. So far, I'm really a big fan of this. I'm looking forward to trying it out. I definitely like more subtle, blushes and more subtle cheek products. So this seems like it will be right up my alley. Okay, the next thing in here is by the brand Bodyography. It is the Heatherberry Lip Pencil. So this is a really pretty lip liner in just like a really nice mauve shade. Well, it's a little bit lighter than mauve. It's like a pretty pink. I think it would actually look really nice with that tart lip gloss. And it just seems to be a good pink shade. So if you guys are in need of a lip pencil, this might be a nice addition to your box. Okay, the last thing in here actually looks like another palette, which would be 
kind of crazy if we got two. Oh, it is an eyeshadow palette. This is by the brand Suva Beauty. I don't know if I'm saying that right because I haven't heard of this brand, but it is their Protégé eyeshadow palette. Oh, this is really pretty. Those pink shadows are calling my name. These are like my favorite colors to wear. And then again, it does come with three warm tone shadows. So I've never heard of this brand. The colors look pretty. Let me swatch some of these. So here's what the highlighters look like swatched. They're very pretty. This cooler toned pink highlighter is calling my name. I definitely would love to wear that all over my face and then all over my eyes as well. And then I'll just swatch three of the shadows, but I will do close-up swatches of all of them. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. This shadow right here is so gorgeous. I cannot wait to wear that one all over the lid. And the matte shadow swatched really nicely too. These seem really, really high quality. This, in my opinion, is a really fun palette. I like that it only comes with like six shadows because sometimes some of the larger palettes are a little bit overwhelming. So this one just kind of strips it back down to the basics. And like I said, you do get warm and cooler shadows inside one palette. Okay, so the value of my box is $122, which is pretty high. I mean, we've gotten boxes with that value before, but honestly, I'm looking forward to trying out the majority of these products. These two palettes look really, really promising, as does the Tarte Lip Gloss. I definitely think I'm going to get use out of that. But these three products alone make the entire box for me. So I have to say, they ended off the year on a really good note, in my opinion. This is one of my favorite boxes. Let me know what you guys think of the box in the comments below. It was kind of fun to try on a few products, Maybe in 2019, I'll do more try on unboxings. It's just not something that I've really done before. But if you do want to see that, let me know. I know I do get some requests to do that. But let me know what you guys got in your boxes. If you got the same products or different products and let me know how you like them. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great weekend and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.